In today's video, I'm gonna show you how I made the horn and I painted it gold and the eyes and the banner and the super fun and super easy rainbow swirls. And I have a little surprise for you guys. My husband was walking around the house without doing anything, so I suggested he try to make a cake with me. And he gave it a shot, so you guys get to see how he did. I will color my gum paste with some golden yellow. I'm going to make the horn and after that we'll work on the ears. Yeah. You're on video. Really? Yeah. You want to just join me? Uh, okay. So we're going to have Danny join us and you're going to do a unicorn. Let's see if you can do what I can do. Okay. Uh, I keep telling everybody that I think this is actually a really easy thing to do and we're going to put it to the test. If he can do it, you guys can do yeah, it. I don't think I can do a unicorn. You think? Alright, here, start with this. Mix it. What do you mean mix it? Well... Just do that? You don't want it to be tie-dye, so, so you want it to be one solid color. Okay, no bubbles? Oh, that looks kind of like yours. All right, great. So um, that should be enough. I think I'm going to cut a stick for you. Oh, how about that? Let's see you cut the stick. There you go. Seriously? Yeah. Do you have a lot of extra of these? Yeah. It's All right. Song change Make it the same size. Just yeah. don't cut my, my... Just don't... You can do it. I got this tool. It's not easy. Snap it <laughs> Why am I holding this? <laughs> ha! Don't use that knife. Well, that was easy. We are going to take our piece and roll it into a long... Me too? Yeah, you're going to copy exactly what I do. We just try to keep up. Try. And it's going to be thinner on one side and longer on the other. We have our horns, and now we're gonna put them on a piece of styrofoam to dry out. Can I get a styrofoam? I yeah, you yours. can share. And I'm going to work on the ears. So I put it next to you. I don't need to show. So a little bit. Not bad. Not bad. Okay, so the horns are done. I put them on a piece of styrofoam, and I'm going to leave them. I don't know, any, as long as you can, I'm going to give them about 24 hours and tomorrow I will be ready to put this, to paint it and then put it on a cake. Um, there's Danny Stewie, his is gonna do. Now it's time to make the ear. So if you don't have any gum paste, get some gum text powder and get a piece of fondant. You add some of that until it feels firm, but if it's starting to feel a little bit too dry and difficult to work with, then just add a little bit more fun. Then you're gonna have to figure out, it has some instructions, but you're gonna have to figure out how it feels. So I got, I've got some ready. And for now, I'm gonna roll it with my machine. And if you don't have this, roll it out really thin. And then we're gonna cut it out with an X-Acto blade. The whole point is that they're all gonna fit inside my six inch round. Let's see 
Mine has big ears. That's fine. You can always trim them like how, I did. How did you stick? I didn't. They're not stuck. I just folded them. So, oh, that here. Glue. Paint the glue underneath. Don't be judgy of my ears. Huh? Ears? Oh, these. For now, we're going to let this dry and then we are going to paint them. You want to paint? Yeah, well, you can airbrush and then put some glitter on top. Oh, okay. That's it. I will put together my board. Okay, I have given these a little time to set and now I am going to work on painting my unicorn horns. And for that, I'm going to airbrush some gold sheen and I'm going to finalize that with some gold powder. 24 karat gold, baby. All right, so check this out though. You don't want to do a very thick layer. You want to do a thin layer of the gold and then we're gonna let it dry and then do another layer let it dry and then we are going to do powder okay. gold it's 24 carats gold <laughs> gold beautiful gold how do i do it oh gosh you're gonna spill it out you have to turn the machine on oh. If you want, want you can go farther and it'll cover more. Horn is drying a little bit and so is mine. I am going to work on the eyes. I had forgotten about the eyes. There's a unicorn, it needs eyes. So and I have some gum paste, so I am going to roll two very thin lines and shape them as the eye against here and then let them dry along with my horns and paint them so just a teeny bit of yellow so that it helps the gold Okay, so now my paint is dry enough and I am, well mine, not that, is, is dry enough and I'm going to now dust some gold powder on it. What I will do now is that I'm going to leave a good amount of white buttercream so that I can frost my cake with. And I am now going to separate some of the buttercream into six different colors because I'm going to make rainbow swirls. I'm gonna make rainbow swirls all over the unicorn for its mane, I guess. And for that, I have six bowls and six colors that I'm going to use. Some piping tips, I'll show you. So I have two star piping tips, Wilton 1M and a Wilton 21. Those are the two that I'm going to use. I have these two things. I am not sure if I'm gonna use them or not. We'll see, they're supposedly, so you can put three bags, three different colors and pipe all three colors at the same time. I'm used to doing it the old not so high tech way that you just pipe the, put the colors in the bag and 
they come out but we'll try maybe i don't know we'll see so i'll go ahead and start with my colors Okay guys, my cake is ready. It has been frosted and it'll, it's time to put it together. I have, I'm gonna put the horn, the eyes, the ears and pipe some rainbow swirls. So check it out. You can touch it, it's dry. All right. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna do a swirl for you. So watch, squeeze. You have to show by yours. That way it'll judge mine. <laughs> squeeze and go. That's one way to do it. Or you could just squeeze and let go. Remember, what look am I going for, just all around? Well, I'm gonna show you pictures of mine. So this is what became of my perfect unicorn cake. Apparently I went wrong in some places, and you may want to be careful listening to Sylvia on some spots, especially apparently my eye didn't hold up. My meme, I think I went too heavy on the cream and it turned into a goatee. So this is my goatee having unicorn, and it's not as perfect as Sylvia's, but I'm pretty proud of it. So if you want to create a goateed one-eyed unicorn, subscribe to my channel doing the best I can. So, good luck to you all. Thank you for joining me, and Godspeed. Okay guys, this is Danny's cake. Um, I think it came out really good, actually. The problem was that he, he had way too much buttercream in the, in the front, and it got really heavy, and this is what happened. It, it fell off, and it took one eye with it. The other one, I still took one eye. So, let's see mine now. All right, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys um, let me know how you did if you try to make this cake and if your cake is better than Danny's cake. I'm, I'm sure it will be. Don't forget, hit the thumbs up if you like my video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for next Tuesday for a new video. Thanks.